Well, when I bought my mod saw, there was only one option available. This is it, so that's what I got. Now, to be 100% honest, this thing does absolutely everything I would expect a saw like this to do. And considering I only build a couple dozen arrows a year maybe, it's gonna be a long time before I wear this thing out. Now, I did end up making a video about the saw, and it's doing all right. Anytime I have a video that gets more than a thousand views, I consider that a success. But the guys over at ModSaw must have watched the video and liked it because they sent me a little care package. Well, I just want to express my gratitude to the guys over at ModSaw. You guys didn't have to do this, but I greatly appreciate it. Your generosity is, is wonderful. Thank you. Well, let's get these things mounted up see how it looks. All right. Now to pull all the parts and pieces off of this. It's not too hard. Most everything just has a thumb screw on it like this. So we just got to loosen everything up and slide them off the rails. So let's take this end cap off. Ugh. out now these things are pretty tight in here so you got to pull them straight and square otherwise they kind of bind up a little bit and this end Ooh, that part just kind of falls off the back I'm guessing this probably will. I don't think that one comes off as easy. I gotta move those together. Alright. Sorry you guys can't see that. I keep putting that out of frame for you. And that just slides off like that. What a mess. I'm going to get the logo off. Sandpaper disc comes off. This port post comes off. All right, let's clean that up. First off, I wanted to get a nice close-up of this black anodized rail with the laser engravings. Man, that looks sharp. Even the logo is laser engraved. Very cool. All right, we're going to start by adding the motor stuff to this side, so I think this had to go on with it. This might take just a little finagling, because those two pieces kind of got to work on at the same time. Now, the thing I am seeing is these things might be kind of a pain, so we are going to work this on just a little bit. Make sure those are square. I'm going to take a second there. Come into that slot square. Oh, that one just popped in. Nice. Okay, motor's on. Now, with this. We can make sure that this is squared up like that. Alright, we'll add the logo back. The extra support strut. The sanding disc. Spin indicator. The support strut. So these are the ceramic bearings. These things just spin so smooth. Now don't get me wrong, these are smooth too. And they're both a big step up from this whole thing. But, 
there's nothing wrong with these but if you'd like to step it up a little bit have the sealed bearings these are going to last longer they're going to stay smoother you know if you're working in the shop and stuff eventually these are going to start collecting junk in them these things though they just so smooth they just keep spinning so let's slide these on here Now the other big upgrade is the stop for the measurement. This was probably the biggest complaint they got when they initially put out their first saw because you'll notice there's no way to really use a knocked arrow on here. You could do it, but depending on the knock, you get some wobbles. It's kind of a pain. Now for me personally, I typically like to pull the knocks and cut them carbon to carbon anyways. So I like this, it works for me. But if you're working at a shop where you're cutting dozens of arrows a day, especially the stuff that the manufacturers are pre-fletched, something like this is going to be a nice upgrade. So this is the knock receiver. Now notice, it's just an insert mounted into the bearing. So again, this thing is super smooth. And in the event that you decide you don't want to do this and you want to use, you know, if you don't have this piece, there is a part so you can just pull this screw here that comes off and this is basically a plug that fits on there and blocks that off so that you can just cut them carbon to carbon versus putting them with the knock inside. Very cool. So we'll slide that piece on. And all we need to do is put the base back on. Now we're back in business. Now I want to reiterate that I was completely happy with the original version of this. These upgrades are just a sweet perk. So if you're wanting to put this thing to use in a shop every day, the upgrades might be worth it. Or if you just like the looks of the black, because let's be honest, it looks so damn good. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. It looks great. Again, just want to thank the guys at Modsaw, not just for the few extra parts, but for building such a great product to begin with. A tool that can kind of do it all for guys like me at home. And the fact that it's so affordable makes it the perfect tool. Oh, don't forget, they're made in Texas.